Welcome back for another episode. Today we are going to revisit the first uh, film I made about the Solex fuel system. So there are two reasons for that. First one being I'm not that happy with the result. I was still figuring out on uh, doing some camera work and whatnot. And I wasn't really happy with the result. So I want to remake this film or this uh, little clip uh, just to improve the quality of it and make, make things more clear. And the second reason is being that the fuel pump uh, still gets clogged up or gets dirty and refuses to work. So I'm going to expand this episode a little bit by taking apart the whole fuel system. So the fuel lines and the fuel tank and clean everything out. Because I think that um, the fuel tank might have some dirt in it. And that's why the fuel pump keeps failing. Because now the bike won't start anymore. It actually failed shortly after I made that video. You get the idea. So let's start by taking all the covers off and get back to the fuel pump. So to disassemble the rest of the fuel tank, there's a little bolt down here, one up here, and there is one on the back side. Disconnect this fuel line as well, the fuel return. So the rear one, the bracket of the rear one is not a hole, it's actually a slot. So you just have to loosen the rear one and you have to remove the two front ones. go let's have a look at this fuel so the fuel doesn't look that bad but it stinks so that's one sign that the fuel is getting old and starts to turn stale that's probably what's causing the clogging of the fuel pump so I'm going to ditch this fuel and clean the tank so I've poured some acetone in the fuel tank. I'm going to let it soak for a while and then I'm going to continue cleaning it up. In the meantime, I'm going to remove this fuel line and maybe have a look at this carb to see if we can uh, clean this thing up. Got the car back out of the ultrasonic cleaner. Looks a lot better. I'm going to blow everything with compressed air just to get uh, all the water and all the dirt out and then maybe mount it back up. If the camera will pick this up, but uh, something happened with the fuel filter, I guess, because uh, this whole filter deteriorated in the gas or in whatever was in there and uh, it's completely gone. This is actually a piece of the fuel filter that fell out. Let's just go ahead and mount the car back up. So at least uh, this thing is back in one piece.
So we're back. I went to my uncle's. He has a great collection of Solex and some Solex parts. The fuel tank is clean now. You won't be able to see this. And we managed to get the old filter out by taking the screw, screwing it in the old filter, and then just pull it out. It's a bit fiddly, but there you go, like so. You could also use a drill and maybe drill it through if it's really stuck, but this should work. So I managed to get a new fuel filter. We have a clean tank. So let's put the lines back on and I guess put everything back. Let's just mount this loosely for now so we can actually position it to the fuel pump. And let's start by putting back the fuel tank. This tank is going nowhere. Reinstall the fuel return line. So we got the fuel pump on the bench. Let's uh, open it up. I see it's already stale fuel. So now The little ball that's in there is actually stuck. We got it. And it just dropped it again. There we go. That tiny little ball works as a check valve for the fuel pump. So that the fuel pump can suck in fuel and push it up, up to the carb. So it doesn't fall back down. This is a little ball used on an ink pattern for the ink pens, the plastic little thing. This is the correct dimension and works perfect. So if you lose yours, this is a great replacement. Other than that, there's not much to it. Just clean everything out, make sure it's uh, there's no dirt in there and put the ball back in. And reinstall the screw on the top. The ball can be stuck. You have to have this. Reinstalling this fuel pump is pretty easy. There is this little plastic piece here that has to go first. There is a hollow side to it and the hollow side has to face the fuel pump. Then you put this little membrane on here. And let's take a screw or two, or a bolt. So, put the little membrane onto the fuel pump. Positioned correctly. And then just mount it back up. Let's put the fuel line back in first. Or at least loosely. <laughs> Don't forget uh, your ground wire has to be, or it was for my bike, on this bolt. So we need to put it back. Tighten the bolts again in a cross pattern so you don't uh, mount it crooked. Let's put this fuel line back. There we go. And as well at, at the tank because it was still loose here. And then there's just one more fuel line that goes from the fuel pump to the carb. One side into the fuel pump. Make sure the, the nut is not crooked. 
And then the other side over here, it's a bit hard to see, this side into the carp. If I can get it in. Maybe I should have mounted this first before the tank. Fuel lines are back on. I ended up removing the tank again because there was literally no way to get a wrench in here and tighten everything back up. So I took it off. I reinstalled the re fuel return, fuel cap. And then I guess that's actually it to see if we can get this thing started. That's half a tank of fuel. Let's put the choke on. Come on. Wants to. Come on. Oh. Yes. Let's put everything back together so we can uh, take this thing out. Boom, there we go. Let's see if it will still fire up. Right away. But even idles, nice. I forgot to wire up the ground. This little pin here needs this cable so let's mount it back up and we should have light hey we got light <laughs> so that will probably be it for this episode for this revision of the fuel system it's currently raining outside so i can't take it out well, I could, but no point in that. So I hope this was a bit more clear than the first uh, episode on the fuel system. Uh, if you have any further questions, please let me know. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and learned something. If you did, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit the like as well for uh, YouTube al algorithm. So yeah, thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.